The Sport, Youth and National Service Minister, Jerry Ekanjo, was accompanied by his special advisor, Ludwig Hausiku. They met the staff members in the Kunene North to hear from them about challenges they face on a daily basis. Poor communication between the region and the head office in Vintuk, bureaucratic bottlenecks, the no money answer they get from head office, and inequitable distribution of resources were raised as some of the problems. The minister also learned of the incomplete construction of a two-story building of the ministry that was deserted by the contractor. The half-built double-story building was expected to be completed by the 25th of this month after the site was handed over to a Vintuk-based JFS investment company last year. Sauka Kongo Kapata is the head of the centre. So since January, um, towards the end of January, we had a site meeting with the architects, the engineers, they came, then seeing on site, then when they went for inspection, they realised uh, because it's a double-story building, they realized something, maybe something went wrong. Then they requested... Who, 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 you, you make a sad deception with whom? The, the architects. Mm -hmm. they, it's, let me from say where? The technic, from Windhoek. Mm -hmm. The architects, the engineers, quantity surveyors. From Works Ministry or from... Uh, uh, one representative from Works Ministry and then the architects for the, for the mm -hmm. whole project. A big mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. They always come from Windows. In the meeting of January, they said they are going to provide before month end, end of January. Whereby at the end, they said no, they are not able to provide the pictures. They did not take the pictures. But in the meeting, they said they would provide. Whereby, the, I think the quantity surveyor, they said this site is unsafe. Mm -hmm. It have to be closed officially. What? Okay. This the site now the construction site have to be closed officially until further notice. A country toured the site and was not happy with what he saw. The filming minister threatened that contractors who make themselves guilty of the practice need to be named and shamed, as well as permanently blacklisted. We are going to follow it up, and I think that company does not need to get any more government tender anywhere in the Republic of Namibia. Yeah. And this company should serve as an example to those who cheat the government. We'll make sure this company will never get tenders, government tenders anymore. And if need be, not even construct in the Republic of Namibia, whether government or private tenders. Because really it doesn't help it's a late, uh, waste of um, uh, resource, government resources, and they cheat. As I have walked around, I could see this is a cheap quality. It's a cheap quality. Uh, these people want to make a quick buck. Uh, instead of delivering uh, quality services, they just constructed to, to make a, a, a quick buck, uh, a profit, without delivering the quality services. The minister further maintains that deceiving is a crime and cautioned that they will face the wrath of the law for embezzling public funds. The sport minister has once again called on all role players to ensure that strict supervision is applied whenever a government tender is awarded to a company to avoid delays.